What's going on guys? This is your boy the Iguana Man and we are with the Animal Hitman. So right now there's a job that we're going to. Apparently there has been a lot of baby iguanas everywhere, alright? We're talking about thousands of them. I don't know if these people were over exaggerating, but it's me and the Animal Hitman's job to go out there and figure out what's going on and catch as many baby iguanas as we can. What is going on guys? It's Iguana Man. And guys, you guys are watching the Animal Hitman's YouTube channel. Tonight, we are going to be trying to fill this bag with as many baby iguanas as possible. As you guys know, it is the baby iguana hatching season and there's an estimated 20 million baby iguana eggs laid and possibly about half of those have already hatched. So it's me and the Animal Hitman's job to go out there in the world of iguanas and try to catch as many baby iguanas as possible. These things hurt if you have not gotten stuck by one before. Oh, they don't feel good at all. Sucks. So walking up, we spot our first baby iguana. Slowly reach in and grab. <laughs> He's a feisty He's one. not too happy. <laughs> I think I spotted another one. So I'm gonna show you guys a method that I like to use to free hand catch any wild lizard. It's called snake eyes with your hands. So you put one hand like that, like to the strikes a lizard, and grab him with the other. Grab him with the other. With lightning fast speed. So there's a lizard right here. Let's see if we can use that tactic. We're gonna put one hand in front of him like this. Do you think we're gonna grab like that? And then, oh man, that's a fail. And he's gone. It only works about 99.9% of the time. All right, guys, we're gonna try to get two in one shot. There's one right in front of us that you can see right there, barely. They blend in so well. And then there's one probably two feet to the left of that one. So here we go. Two baby iguanas, and I'm about to get bit by one. Okay guys, we're just walking in this grass, and look, we almost walked right on top of this guy. Come here buddy, you're coming with us. What do we have so far? I think like six? Okay, well you guys seen how easy it is to go out and catch baby iguanas in the wild. Uh, they're going to be hatching right now, There's millions of eggs, millions of baby iguanas. So if you see a spot that has a lot of baby iguanas, go there during the night with a flashlight, you might be surprised might come across you might be able to capture a few of these little invasive reptiles well we got our catch for the night it was a pretty successful eventful night time to go back to the house and put these little guys in the cage okay so we're back over here and as you guys can see we do have a couple baby iguanas run Super adorable. So as you guys can see, they are absolutely adorable when they're this size. But unfortunately, they do get big, and then that's when people have been releasing them into the wild. And that's one of the reasons why we have a lot of the invasive green iguanas out here in Florida. It's because of the pet trade. So they just passed a new rule. If you are to sell these guys as pets, they have to be sold to the upper 45 states. Just in case, if they were to ever escape, 
there'd be no possible way that they could survive the winter. So with that being said, these guys will be rehomed to somebody up north. They'll make great pets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button with the bell notification on so you guys never miss a new post. Also, let us know what new videos you guys want to see us do in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to give this video a fat like. Also, if you live up north and you want to adopt one of these baby green iguanas, let us know in the comments down below. Look at this guy. He's adorable. There's about 20 of them, y'all. So as you guys can see, the clients were not lying. There were a lot of invasive baby iguanas. So check them out. They're right here. These guys will not be re-released back into the wild. Instead, they'll have a second chance at life as being somebody's pet. They're at the age where they can be trained. They can be tamed. Check them out. They're super feisty. Um, it's better than them being out in the wild causing destruction and reproducing out of control. <laughs>